Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Hello and Assalamu alaikum friends In this video I am going to show you how to use the WinPro data software which is basically used to program the FATIC PLCs uh, and now I am going to open the software of WinPro data the software is opening now the software is open and uh, in file I am going to start the new project the new project I name it as Fartech PLC and I am selecting the PLC model which I used uh, for my PLC programming FBS series and 20 points and MC this is a model name of the PLC and select it ok and now select it again ok so user you have seen that uh, this is the main screen video this is the main screen uh, for the FATIC PLC software and uh, here you can see that there are some options for the tools which are used to programming the PLCs such as this is the contacts this is the other type of contacts and these are the different contacts and pulses used for the PLC programming now if I start and uh, I am going to take the input the input name is x0 x0 is basically the input uh, for the logic label which are sensed by the PLC and x0 is the input of the PLC from the external world and this is the x0 input you have seen that uh, there is two lines and these two lines are the basic form of ladder and the ladder is here x0 is connected in the ladder and then after that I connect here then output output name is y0 basically y are used for the outputs and x is used for the input so I am using here y0 output so I have to here change it as the coil because the outputs are coil so I use it as coil so now this is our basic very basic you can say very basic ladder program uh, which is doing that uh, when x0 input is on then y0 output will be on now I am showing you how this work basically PLC scan the each ladder program uh, in one cycle which is known as a scan a scan time of the PLC and in every scan time the input and outputs are updated in the PLC so I am going to start the simulation and in the simulation now I am going to run the simulation PLC and now you have seen that the scan cycles here are incremented and uh, nothing is now happening in the program because there is no input is active and there is no output on behalf of that input now I am going to on the x0 input which is uh, and you have seen that this is there is a status page and the status page is used to monitor the input and outputs and registers of the PLC now I have entered here x0 input now you have seen that the x0 is off and uh, here is y0 y0 is also off now I am going to switch the input on so you have seen that uh, when the x0 is on the y0 is uh, all also on so y0 is depend on x0 
when the x0 is off then the y0 will also be off so this is a very basic uh, ladder program uh, that is used to let you know that how ladder logic is working and uh, here is are the scan cycles scans of the plc's which are running continuously without stopping and on each scan time the whole ladder program is updated there are some tools uh, which are used for editing the ladder diagram uh, such as this delete tool if you use that delete delete tool oh let me first have to stop the plc yes hmm. so if i use the delete tool it will delete the connection wire between these uh, two units and from the horizontal when i use this horizontal it is again joining that lines of connections uh, so what have uh, we have here some more options such as the one of the very basic is the function and the function is basically telling you all the operations and all the instructions that the plc can perform such as timer counter output operations set resets sfc arithmetic logic operation and i will tell you about these operations detail in details in my next videos and this is a floating point number systems okay now i am going to uh, let you know about the addition program now i am again taking here the input x0 mm -hmm. and then i am used here the function the function is known as add the add function is used to add two registers or two values and here i use 5 plus 5 and store it in r0 register basically r0 is the register of the plc memory and uh, there are many registers you can see that in this uh, pop up window that these registers are used uh, to save the values and use for other counting and timer values now the addition instruction is here and uh, i connect there the horizontal line now now when the x0 input uh, will be active uh, then uh, this will be updated uh, let me show you how again run plc plc is start running and now i have type here the register r0 now r0 has some values by default which is 68 uh, and this is the random value when i switch the x0 input to 1 you have seen that that r0 has been changed to 10 because when the input active then the addition block will perform the addition and add the two numbers and store it in r0 so you thought this is very basic program uh, to show you how ladder logics is working in my next video i will show you more options in the fatic win pro ladder software and will show you actual plc programming in my next video please like and uh, subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and knowledge thank you very much